Welcome to Tesla Info, and today we're going to run through the initial setup of your car when you first get it. If you like our content, then please like, subscribe and ring the bell. The first thing we're going to do is set up your driver profile. Click the word profile at the top of the screen and then create driver profile that pops up below. You'll then be asked to enter a profile name. After that, you'll be presented with options to adjust the mirrors and steering wheel. Just remember to click save after you've done. You can also adjust the seat, which will cause a pop-up save prompt on the, on the screen below the car image. This happens whenever you make an adjustment to the driver profile. Next, you will probably want to connect your phone as a car key. We've assumed you have the app and the car is showing in your account. If not, you will need to wait until it is. From the car, click on locks and then the plus sign to add a new key. Now from the app, click on set up phone key and when prompted, click on pair. Take your phone key and swipe as shown just by the centre armrest. Once done, the app will tell you, including a pop-up message. You can optionally visit your phone settings to improve the connection, but this will be at the expense of extra battery drain on your mobile phone. Close the pop-up window in the car and you'll see the phone is now added. Clicking on the person icon will associate the phone key to the currently selected driver profile. This just means the phone profile will automatically be selected when you approach with this particular phone. Next, we're going to connect to Wi-Fi. We would advise connecting to both your home Wi-Fi and a wireless hotspot on your phone. To add a Wi-Fi, let the car search for available Wi-Fi signals and click on the one you want to connect to, or visit Wi-Fi settings where they can be changed. Next, you need to add your mobile phone for phone calls. You need to open the Bluetooth settings in both the car and your phone. When you see your phone appear in the car, click it and pairing will commence. After a few seconds, a number should appear on both devices which will need to be confirmed on the phone. Click allow if you want contacts to be shared. There's one extra step however if you want text messages to appear in the car. On your iPhone, click the I at the end of the device name. At the top of the resulting screen, you will see show notifications, which is turned off. Turn this on. Once done, back in the car, turn on sync messages. This will cause a connection to drop and be remade. When it re-establishes, you will see it enabled. The last thing to do is set up Sentry Mode. Visit Safety and then scroll down to Format Drive, making sure that the USB B device is already plugged in, it can be found in the glove box. Sentry mode can now be enabled and dash cam will work automatically. If you want to disable sentry mode at a chosen location, they need to be added to the sat nav. Click on navigation and then click on the option. In this case, we're setting the work location. Either enter a new location or pick one that's already in the list. When done, Click set work location. Once done, head back to safety and you can disable that location from sentry mode. And now you're good to go. Enjoy your car.